Hello and welcome to another edition of Outdoor Storytellers. I'm your host, Dan Barth. For this edition of Outdoor Storytellers, we've come to the confluence of the Grand Ronde River in Oregon and the Snake River in Idaho in search of bighorn sheep. And as you can see from behind my shoulder, we found them. They actually found us more than we found them. After days of hiking and searching, this group of Grand Ronde bighorns just walked out into the road, only 20 yards in front of us. There was, of course, the dominant male, Ram, of the group, who wasn't afraid to assert his authority. A dozen or so females, called ewes, and a couple of lambs, all of which were perfectly content eating scrub brush and grasses while taking in the canyon sunlight. Most of the bighorn sheep were either ear tagged or collared, indicating that a state or federal wildlife agency has been tracking and studying this group. But what caught my eye after watching them for the afternoon was the nonverbal behavior demonstrated by the dominant ram. And the antics of the smallest member of these sheep, so I assume youngest, lamb. This little girl, or boy, just wandered about the hillside, though never leaving the protection of a few ewes. I called the lamb Simba, after the Disney character from the Lion King movie. Of course, there were no lions here, only a lamb with a group of bighorn sheep on Washington and Oregon's Grand Ronde River. For Outdoor Storytellers, I'm Dan Barth, KXOY4, HD News.